What is going on my peoples? Welcome back to the channel and today Hot Toys finally decided to release a figure worth it of a video. Enough with the Christopher Robin nonsense and the cost baby that were driving me crazy. So now we have John Wick up for pre-order from the second movie. Really, really amazing figure. Just before this uh, figure was announced or San Diego Comic Con 2018, uh, there were tons of tons of customs uh, out there for this guy that shows the demand there is out there for this guy on a 1-6 scale. And Hot Toys apparently decided to, to take that into uh, notes for that and they put out their own uh, John Wick. And since they already announced Neo at the beginning of the year, they already owned the Keanu Reeves license and they were like, you know what, what the hell. Let's put a figure together. And here it is. And it is a pretty amazing figure, I have to say. And coming on to the likeness, uh, many times I say here, this is a 10 out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10. Because in my opinion, they are. I always give out my honest opinion why I lied. I have nothing. I have nothing to gain. But this time around, uh, in my humble opinion, this is not a 10 out of 10. This this dead-on, straight-on uh, face is, is very good, I have to say. It's yet another really, really, really good um, head sculpt from Hot Toys, but it's not a perfect 10 out of 10, in my opinion. I think it's a good, good 8 out of 10. And you're going to see in some of the pictures, dead-on, like, this is the best picture. This is how he looks best but when you see him from sideways he does not look that much as Keanu Reeves and I believe that the the face is a little bit fat uh, compared to how he looks today and in that movie he looks very 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 skinny on that movie and uh, the head it's just a little bit around the ears uh, maybe it's a little bit too fat. I don't know. I, I, it's very difficult for me to, to find mistakes on, on faces like that. Um, but uh, I can just tell something's off and I don't, know, I don't know what it is. That's just my take on it. I think his face is a little bit too fat. And probably some other detail here and there. The separation of the eyes and whatever it is. Um, I just cannot pinpoint what it is. But that's what I think. But... Uh, 8 is really good. 8 is better than anything out there. Anything that any other company has put out before. It's just for, we are, you know, when you collect Hot Toys, you've seen so amazing, perfectly detailed and perfectly matching the actor they are representing. Uh, have skulls that when you see something that is a slightly less, we start judging it and very and we try we are very hard on the on them, but they're not. That this is some really amazing have skulls nonetheless, even though it could not be a ten out of ten for me. For you, it might be. So uh, coming on to the accessories, we thought we saw that he was holding a handgun on the previous picture. He's holding a shotgun in this uh, picture. Pretty, pretty nice. This guy is loaded with guns. He has a ton, ton of accessories. Another of the accessories he comes with is this uh, knife. It's pretty cool. And this picture right here, you can see how the face is like looking down, downwards a little bit. And now you can tell that he does not look like he don't read that much from this position. So he started to bring it down even possibly, possibly even further down than an 8 like 7 7.5 but that may be just me maybe you uh think this is a perfect head close. i think this this shot right here looks really really good i really like it and the, you can see he has um uh, ar-15 with a bunch of attachment he has double magazines holding there it, it comes with the strap to hold it really really cool Come, going back to the face again, you can see uh, the beard is really well done, as they always do. And uh, the scratches and the blood, Hot Toys, just, they're a master of doing that. So those scratches and that blood, they, they look lifelike, like seriously, really, really good. As they always do on everything they put on. This is yet another shotgun here. Really amazing detail they have put down to this um, 
all of these guns that they come with uh, John Wick and you can see they included the little shell here on the outside with all the details here all the printing really really cool you can see that on the hands that he comes with the uh, with his ring and you can see some vein details over here pretty pretty nice amazing really good stuff yet he comes with another gun and it comes in a case with a clip and they have magazines i don't know if this uh, blueprints that he also comes with those let's check that out at the end with everything included on this packaging and this is just a really cool pose that i thought they they pulled out really really well like he was shooting with the shotgun and then he pulled out his gun and he's just resting the shotgun very very uh cool looking as he does stuff like that in the movie all the time pretty pretty nice so this is everything included on the box and uh he comes with quite a lot just handguns look at this he comes with one two three and four handguns these are all different handguns and on top of that it comes with this case with the clip uh you can also see the those blueprints but i don't think they are included i think that's just uh, a backup image uh he comes with the n4 shotgun and with the dp12 the ar15 he comes with the knife he also comes with a pencil that he used in the movie to write a beautiful letter to his dead dog in heaven <laughs> not at all that pencil scene it was this shit i was like ouch that's gotta hurt i would rather get shot than being inserted <laughs> a pencil on my face that 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 really hurt pretty pretty cool um fight sequence there he also comes with this uh, medallion so he comes with a close one and with an open one with the um, with the blood uh in it pretty cool I don't know why they did this. It could have been the same one with just an opening one, but they included it too. So, hey, I'm not going to complain about that. He comes with all these tags of coins. Pretty nice. He has a bunch of hands. You can see it on the left hand. He has the ring on all of them. And the other ones is just regular hands. So, this is brand new sculpted hands for that ring. He comes with a stand and with a backdrop at the same time. And I have to say, this is a really, really nice looking figure. Looking at it here dead on, he's pretty, pretty close to um, Keanu Reeves right there. And I'm, something that I see, they see a lot of people like just throwing their hands right now with an evil plan to get this figure. Just to take that head off and put anything, any other head on this guy. Just imagine, he's, this is just a playing suit, a playing uh regular uh, nice looking suit you can just get a tony stark head and put it there it's gonna look amazing and you can get anybody you can get the godfather it's just you name it you can do whatever the hell you want with this suit and it's gonna be the amazing tailoring that hot toys offers with a true type body from hot toys with everything hot toys you just keep popping a head in there and you can replicate basically anybody on a movie that is wearing a suit. So I see a lot of people doing this, getting this figure just to get the head out and just to use all these weapons and all this stuff and just to get whatever favorite character and put it in there. Uh, even though this is a pretty kick-ass uh, movie and character and on his own, it doesn't need to be his head pop out just to fit anybody else. But hey, I see a lot of people doing that. Maybe getting a second uh, figure for that or getting off eBay or something like that. So now, coming down to the price. He is coming at $243. So comparing him to the uh, other figure that for the same actor, a very, very similar uh, figure and character... His Neo portrayal in the Matrix. It comes at 235 early this year. And for 235, he comes with all of this. He comes with all of these guns. And he comes with a few hands, the back, the stand, and the glasses. So 235, I said that 235 was my newest, lowest uh standard for figure. So this 
for everything this guy is including 235 he could have come with a lot less 235 i'm talking about a, a guy that could like I don't know, like a Black Panther or something like that. It's just a, a few hands in the stand, and that's it. That would be my new 235 with these ridiculous prices, right? So this guy is way, way, super, super cheap. Really, really good. Way, such a good price. All right. So when you compare him to the John Wick, we're going from 235 to 243 So not even $10. We're talking about $8 difference, right? And this guy comes with... Give me a second here. I'm malfunctioning. This guy comes with an array of accessories. Crazy amount of accessories. He does come with a bunch of guns, but you can see these are the same gun, same gun, same gun. There's basically five guns here, and they make it ten because they're all the same gun. Uh, again, but this, all of these guns are brand new sculpted guns from the ground up, and they all look entirely different. And they are very intricate guns, as you can see here, very complicated um, guns. And he has six guns. He has like four, no, actually seven. One, two, three, four, seven. And it comes with a case. It comes with the clips, obviously. All the, all the hot toys stand there with them, bringing that. And it comes with a pencil, the knife, all these coins. He has more hands than Neo. He has these two medallions. And it comes with the stand, but it also comes with a backdrop. So for a dollar difference, this guy, with everything that is including here, I think is a fair, fair price. Really well priced. He's not on the super cheap end, and he's not on the super extremely uh, expensive end. For everything they're throwing at you on this package, he's really, really well priced. I freaking love the price for this figure and this figure and all the accessories that he comes with it is phenomenal i think this is a great buy and if you're collecting anything other than marvel dc and uh, star wars out there which seems to be like the three major things the hot toy stockles all the time uh, this is this should be a must for you it would have been a must for me but you guys know my deal marvel only i'm broke as hell i cannot <laughs> i cannot go outside of marvel otherwise i'll be lost i'm already lost in marvel imagine if i go beyond that so i sadly i cannot get this guy or this guy and i freaking love them both because the matrix part one is one of my favorite movies ever but uh but you can you're free to do as you please if you don't have rules like i do and this guy was going to be an excellent addition to your collection and like I said the tailoring for this guy for this suit it is superb and the material they use I don't have it in front of me I'm not touching it but it looks like this material it looks stupendous it looks super super great so yeah guys what do you think about this guy this release are you gonna be getting John Wick this phenomenal figure that Hato is putting out for us or you're going to give it a pass because you're concentrating on your DC, your Star Wars, and your Marvel. We're waiting for that Bucky Steel. <laughs> he should be out any day. Any day now, uh, Hot Toys just put out a uh, um, Bucky out there so people start um, biting their nails in expectation for the Bucky release so yeah guys this video is about John Wick put it on the comments below what do you think about this figure are you gonna be getting this figure do you like him do you care for him do you like the idea of ripping his head off and just putting a Tony Stark head in there or the Godfather or anybody else Carlitos way I don't know what you're gonna do uh, but yeah guys don't be a stranger on the channel be around